Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? Back with another video. Gonna talk about Monero yet again regarding the random X. Okay, so in this video, I want to do some thought provoking stuff here. Just just to give you guys some a little bit of, of history of what Monero's been through in the past. And just, you know just thinking about the future so while everyone is now thinking about buying CPUs and I think a lot of people recently have bought in CPUs after after I've been talking with um, my discord community and as well as the videos that I've made previously uh, as this video I made you know uh, five five days ago or six days ago as I'm making this video uh, it says let's talk about Monero's random X and CPU benchmarks um, a lot of people were were pretty excited about it. I, I would say excited about the random X, but I I had a few a few interesting comments here. There's actually one I gotta read here, um, from Leon Perta. He said, "You gotta be kidding! I've already got a bunch of money tied up in Vegas and RX 580s because I thought Monero was the shizzle. It was the only privacy coin that was doing things right. Then Fluffy Pony stepped off the stage, and things have gone to." blank with that project ever since a ton of new forks god only knows how many kryptonite coins got spawned and the mining software can barely keep up with the constant changes now random x throws all the gpu miners and software writers under the bus that helped this train wreck afloat during the crash yeah like i'm going to rush out there and drop a bunch of more cash on hardware especially when the devs are saying that they are going to Go to an ASIC friendly algo if random X doesn't work. As far as I'm concerned, Monero is just another blank coin, and now I'm o only mining it with my Vegas if the profit switcher says there isn't anything else that I can run that is more profitable, which right now is the m is most of the time, and I'm m immediately exchanging it for Bitcoin. Good luck to all you CPU suckers out there when the devs decide to go shop 256. <laughs> so. That comment right that right there got me thinking, you know what, this guy, it, it, um, Leon, Leon Pertek, you know, it, it could be right. He could be right because judging by past history, okay, so we're going to look at the Monero's hash rate historical chart here on bitinfocharts.com and you guys all know, remember back, uh, if some of you were mining back in 2017, 2018, uh, Bitmain created the... Antminer X3, I believe it was doing 220 kilohashes on on Monero at the time with the on the Kryptonite algorithm. Okay, you can see a huge rise up. I believe this is when the X3 was announced and uh, Bitmain was, I think, conspiracy was using the X3s before they were were before they were selling them. Um, so there's a huge conspiracy there. I don't know the truth about it, but. Uh, the X3 was definitely the huge rise of the kryptonite uh, hash rate due to the kryptonite hash rate here, as you guys can see. And then you guys may notice in around April or so, uh, there was a huge drop off in the in the hash rate because on the roadmap on uh, Monero uh, GetMonero.org, you can see here um, they have a bunch of their updates of what they've been doing. And you can see in 2018, they have upgraded to the new proof of work algorithm, uh, Kryptonite V2. Okay, this was done on April 6th, okay, 2018. And you can see here, April 6th, this is when it dropped off. You guys can see it dropped off considerably. Uh, I think about, it looks like about half, half of the hash rate around there, looks like it went down. And, um, yeah, it's 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 interesting to see uh, this huge drop off, right? So it just gives you guys perspective of of they had to do it because of the ASIC miners. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next step, the next algorithm change that they had to do here. It looks like the hash rate didn't go not that much, not that much more, but uh, it looks like yeah, in the next the next upgrade they did new proof of work. Uh, Kryptonite V3, okay, so they're keeping up with their ASIC resistance, okay, in quotations, ASIC resistance, and uh, I guess the CPU botnets were still <laughs> still running amok anyway. Uh, October, 18, uh, October 18th, 2018, okay, so 
Um, it was a bit of a drop off. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a drop off. And I guess it cut out uh, a lot of different, uh, uh, whatever, uh, of the uh, CPU mining, I guess. And GPU miners were still, I guess, GPU miners, they were, they were trying to stay GPU mining uh, centric as well. So uh, at the time, they just didn't want ASICs and all that kind of stuff. And then we're coming about to the present now, okay? So um, the next, the next uh, roadmap on the roadmap here, they upgraded to uh, Kryptonite R. So we're going in 2019 now, okay? Uh, on 20, 2019, January, February, March, March 9th, new proof of work, Kryptonite R, okay? So let's look back at this chart. And as you guys can see, look at that. Boom. You can see something was taking over. I don't know if it was FPGAs, ASIC miners, or something. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. I, I, I think I did a video on it. I, I, I'm not I think it was FPGAs. I'm not I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but you can see biggest drop off ever <laughs> on uh, on this time, uh, January, February, March, March 6th. You look at this huge drop off of hash rate. And now on the Kryptonite R algorithm, we really haven't seen much uh, rise up in hash rate. It's been pretty stable, okay? So um, it's been pretty stable, and I think in terms of the uh, ASIC resistance and stuff, it's been pretty good. I haven't I haven't heard or uh, uh, I haven't heard of any FPGAs or um, ASIC miners on Monero. Um, maybe there could be some in the works, but it looks like the hash rate has been pretty leveled uh, since its uh, since its beginning here um, of this year. So beginning of the year. So um, now now with the random X implementation, okay. So they have it in the works on their roadmap here uh, for October, I believe. The new proof of work algorithm, random X. That's what they wanted. And we've all we've all heard, and I gave you guys updated on that they wanted to be uh, CPU CPU centric now. So they wanna they wanna get away from graphic cards, okay? Which you know it sucks for most of us GPU miners that uh, they were mining, uh, just like uh, Leon uh, Perta was mentioning, and um, it, it sucks, right? It sucks for those guys that really loved really liked the Monero project and for Monero to really just kick GPU miners off um, it sucks it really does suck and I think I did mention before that I was okay with it and I guess I got I was kind of biased because I wasn't a heavy Monero uh, m miner like a heavy uh, miner of Monero so yeah I guess from Leon Perta's perspective it sucks because he actually he actually did like Monero because it was a privacy coin and he had a lot invested in it and he had a lot of hardware invested in it and uh, to see his outbreak his outrage on onto the Monero project I, I cannot blame him you, you can't blame him because now that they're going to CPUs it it's it he has to possibly buy a bunch of CPUs which I think he shouldn't do which uh, it's 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 hard to say it's hard to say because you know with Monero always switching um, proof of work algorithms we don't know we don't know if um, we don't know what's gonna happen right maybe they're gonna change to the uh, an ASIC algorithm like uh, Leon Perta said and that would be <laughs> that would be really really sad for people who bought you know a bunch of CPUs just for random X okay and for the people shilling out lots of money for the new, you know, Ryzen CPUs or people buying old hardware on eBay, uh, I would I would be leery, okay? I would be leery because if RandomX doesn't work out, if some something in the future comes out for RandomX on FPGAs or ASICs or something unknown hardware, I have no idea. It could be an interesting time indeed and, and pretty sad for the people who bought the CPUs uh, just for Monero mining. So forewarning, um, I, I don't know if this is something you guys can do your own research on. I mean, we can't predict the future. So uh, just 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 be ready uh, for what could happen in the next year or so. 
because it looks like Monero, you know, in the past year, two years, they've they've done algorithm change changes every you know six to eight months. So be warned, guys. You 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 have been warned. This this is something um, to look out for, and I'm glad Leon Perta gave this comment on my video uh, because it really gives uh, uh, it really gives thought provoking um, information that could potentially happen in the next year next two years that uh, Monero could change up, change it up because it didn't work who knows who knows right and um, good example uh, people there's a few coins on random X right now I believe Loki and Wow Monero Wow Nero They're, these are two coins um, Loki I believe used to be on ethash okay ethash algorithm and now um, I believe they have moved on uh, according to their blog post here uh, due to merged mining, TurtleCoin and Loki, and as well as 51% uh, uh, attack stuff and uh, that kind of stuff. But the main thing, yeah, they, they announced on June 27th, 2019, that they are now um, they are now announcing the integration of Random X algorithm into Loki. Okay, so. If you guys want to try it out, um, you guys can go check it out. I haven't tried it myself, but um, maybe I'll do a review of this uh, later on. And I uh, can see what Loki's all about. But yeah, uh, that, that, I, I just mainly want to talk about Random X and really it's been, it's been now, they're, they're, moving, it, they're moving towards uh, general purpose CPUs uh, for their algorithm Random X. So, um, and I, as I showed you guys in my last video, uh, the GPUs were pretty much phased out. It didn't seem efficient enough uh, compared to CPUs. So, um, and as well, uh, one last thing I just wanted to show was the Random X audits uh, for the Random X, and there was three different Random X um, audits that happened. Pretty interesting. I didn't really. I just skimmed over, but it looks like there were um, a, a few different um, vulnerabilities. According according to these uh, according to these audits, so interesting to interesting to look at. Um, you guys can give it a read. Uh, interesting read. Um, I'll just I'll link this down below on the description. You guys can give it a read here on their GitHub. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, this is just something thought provoking, something that we should think about in the future, uh, because you know Monero does do frequent as of history, as, as I showed you showed you guys frequent um, hard forks. So. From drastically going from GPU to now CPU mining, it sucks for those that were already heavily invested and now are pretty angry about it. So let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Smash that like button, all that good stuff. Have a good day, guys. Peace out.